You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Chugven Festival takes place this week, with a national holiday marked from 24th to 26 September. As a result of the successful national vaccine campaign, the festival celebrations are able to go forth this year. EAC News spoke with some excited citizens in Phnom Penh about how they feel getting to finally visit pagodas and celebrate Chumben like normal. At 9 a.m. in the morning, the noise of people was constantly heard at Wat Thul Shantiwan in Phnom Penh. Many villagers brought their families, friends, and relatives to provide food for the monks, while some sold items such as incense, candles, and lotus flowers. The monks at the pagoda were busy blessing the Buddhists who brought them food, while others continued lighting incense, praying, and counting the bowls. Buddhists, both young and old, showed their joy in being able to come to the pagoda and celebrate this traditional Khmer festival once again, especially since last year's Chumben festivities were suspended due to the COVID-19 outbreak. At that time, the royal government of Cambodia had issued a formal decision to suspend the Kanban and Chumben festivals from the day of the fourth bun to Chumben Day in order to prevent the further spread of COVID-19 within the community. The government also ordered capital provincial governors to coordinate and ensure that food and other necessary relics would be delivered to the monks at the pagodas in their respective jurisdictions. Sitting with her back against the pagoda's pillars, wearing a navy blue skirt, an embroidered shirt, and a white scarf, 78-year-old Mom Yom smiled and said she had only excitement in being able to celebrate Chumben at the pagoda once more. At the same time, she recalled that last year, due to the crisis caused by the pandemic, she was not able to take part in any religious ceremonies and was only able to give offerings to the monks in a hurry as visitors were unable to stay at the pagodas for long. Vun Vitu, a 44-year-old Buddhist, also expressed his happiness in being able to honor his relatives who have passed away, especially since this year he was able to once again cook and provide food for the monks, unlike in 2021. <laughs> He noticed that the pagodas, such as Wat Duol Shantiwan, are well organized this year, with security guards posted to maintain safety in the area and good practice of safety measures implemented by the ministry, such as regular hand washing and wearing masks. <laughs> The 44-year-old said he hopes that all citizens will continue to participate in maintaining personal hygiene through compliance to the three do's and three don'ts to ensure that the Chumben celebrations and family reunions are full of joy and move away from COVID-19 altogether. As stated in a special voice message sent by Prime Minister Hun Sen on 12th September, the Premier called on the Ministry of Health and members of the public to continue implementing health and safety measures at pagodas and other locations that require high attention. In particular, he said people must pay attention to preventing the spread of infection from their homes to pagodas and vice versa, even if it appears that there is currently a low risk of COVID-19 in the country. The Prime Minister said he hopes that the people will understand and take care to protect themselves by continuing to implement the measures set by the Ministry of Health and to also remain well organized at pagodas. A committee member at Wat Tuo Santiwan, 79-year-old Uk San Tok, said he was very happy and grateful to the royal government for allowing the celebration of Kanban and Chumben this year. However, he noted that special attention must be paid to the protection of public health, which includes the implementation of the three do's and three don'ts. Uh, 
ก็โดยจะโจรวมนงคำปฏิบนตามบทในมวยในมวยในขนมปฏิเจนอาจจะคำเจให้สบายเขียนทีมพอดมา The Wat t u l Shatiwan committee members said that the pagoda always receives regular visitors, whether during big religious ceremonies or on one of the four Buddhist holy days of the month. On the other hand, he said this year's Chumben festival appears to have gathered more people than usual. Most importantly, he said that no matter how happy he is that the festivities were allowed to go forth this year, he has not forgotten the instructions set by the Ministry of Health and the head of the royal government. He recalled how difficult the organization of Chumben was in 2021 because the festival could not be celebrated regularly at pagodas and other locations due to the risk of infection. <laughs> Speaking at a public forum in Runta Aik Village, Bante s r a i District, s i e m r i p Province, on 13th September, Prime Minister Hun Sen said that it was through the successful COVID-19 vaccination strategy implemented by the royal government that the people are able to celebrate festivals like the Khmer New Year and Chumben once more. The Chumben Festival, also known as the Ancestral Ceremony, is a festival that dates back to ancient Khmer culture, celebrated to give merit and remember those relatives and ancestors who have died. This festival is held every day until the 15th day of the 10th month in the Khmer calendar, which takes place between September and October. Every year, Cambodians get three days off from work to attend Chumben festivities and prepare food to honor their relatives.